All right, what's going on everybody it's uh, SSU I go by Uzo now but um I'll be showing you guys going through some wave issues that people have as far as uh, sampling sounds from the browser so my first example will be where is it it's right here all right so I have a kick that I want to use and when I sample it over here it sounds great so I bring it in here and when I uh, put it actually in my pattern it sounds like this which is crazy because that's not what I heard over here so the problem is FL you know just being stupid got something wrong and what you need to do is come over to the insert tab under the channel and usually for most instruments um, the root note is C5, but somehow it got moved down to C0. So if we were to play it on the piano roll at C0, which is the lowest octave, middle C, or lowest C, it would sound fine. What we need to do is reset it. And you just right click on C5 and you know, you're good to go. So now when I play it, it sounds great. Uh, second thing that some people have been running into is um, I have a snare here that I sampled from one of my own songs which I just you know tracked it out and I was gonna use it for later so when I bring it in here this is how it sounds but when I play it here it sounds a lot shorter and higher in pitch and I'm like what's going on so what you need to do is when you never see these red lines just go ahead and press use loop points and uncheck that because what it's gonna do is keep looping this back and like it'll play at random times during your beat so however long this is when this is over it'll play again even though it's not I mean it's hard to explain but you just don't need this now the reason it's playing in a high pitch like that and not sounding the way it's supposed to is because it was time stretched to fit the tempo so what you need to do is right click and press none on this time and it back to normal um, and that's pretty much it um, another cool thing that I would like to show you guys is something with 808s let me find a good one this is great um, let's go ahead and right click none use loop points and let us uh, all right, so we have this 808, and what we want to do is be able to make our own, you know, little 808 line. So if you're ever having, if you have a beat and you want to add some 808s, this is a great way to do some cool stuff. Um, see, when I click and how it kind of fades out as a sound, we can change that so we can be more flexible. What you do is come over to the Insert tab. Um, bring the attack all the way down because this is where it starts to sound when you click it here and the thing that controls you know how long it takes to fade is the release so you bring this you don't want to always bring it to zero I usually leave it a little bit off zero and right there is fine so now we can put it at different lengths and it'll play Let's see how this sounds and we can bring these down and play it at all different lengths um, and this allows you to do some really cool stuff with your 808s if you haven't learned about this already um, so yeah also you can slide these notes since it's a WAV file to do that you just you can come up here and click the slide or you can just press and hold until you see the triangle and um, that will slow, slide your notes up and you got to get rid of that to make it a regular note again and you'll see what I'm talking about right here oh you can't really hear that and the higher the note um, the slide note is the, the faster and more noticeable it'll be so if we bring it up here And you can also do it down low. Mm -hmm. 
which I think is pretty cool. So if you're wondering how that effect is done in a lot of today's music, that's you know really how it's done. So I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Have a good day.